Custom business owners Wyatt and Lance Bush team together to form Craven Customs. A father and son duo scavenging the web along with the Northeast Texas woods in search of rusty relics. While buying and building on a budget, they recreate and preserve hidden patina, giving each one a story of its own. Chasing their passion, they're giving the past a future, saving lost dreams one vehicle at a time. With help from God, these guys are turning rust. Brought to you in part by Maxed Trailers. Well, we made a little bit more headway on this old Metro since the last time you guys saw it. Uh, we went ahead and we got our tanks mounted, we've got our compressors mounted, uh, we've got our valves mounted, our shifter, just a lot of little stuff has taken place. Still got to run the airlines, uh, but we're re really at an important part right now of needing our exhaust work done. Uh, once we get the exhaust work in there, we'll be able to know where we need to run some lines, some wiring as well. Uh, so that's what we're doing here right now. We're going to go with a really cool setup. Just need to get it unloaded and see what we can get done. Good. Well, man, we made a little headway from the last time you seen it. I'd say so. <laughs> We've been working pretty hard. Finally got to that point of needing some exhaust so I can you know, be sure that all my airlines are away from the heat. So, uh, I don't know. I was just kind of thinking I wanted, I know I want to do three inch exhaust on it, uh, but thought it'd be pretty cool to maybe do some electric cutouts on it or something. That'd be, that'd uh, be different. I mean, I love the sound of Flowmasters, but if we do the cutouts, I was thinking maybe going with something that's a little bit quieter when it's running regular, you know, and then have the cutouts open up when you really need to grab some attention or something. Heck yeah. Uh, the problem is we just don't have a whole lot of room here. I mean, it's, it's obviously the frames on the ground, so. Uh, well, just fixing to say, clearance is gonna be our biggest issue, so if you wanna get it up in the air and look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see if we can run an X-Pipe, Flowmasters cutouts, but I also know we've got this much room to work with, so. We can do it. Whatever we need to do to get it started. Uh, I've also got a three-week deadline I've got to meet, so. <laughs> we need this we done in do. about five minutes. All right. <laughs> So I only have so much room here. Uh, I've got a battery tray that's going to go in this spot. There's not a big set, uh, big area there. Um, on these cutouts, what are you thinking as far as placing them? Alright, come out of the headers. Back here. We ain't got a whole lot of room if we want our battery there, Lance. Yeah, I don't know if you what could... You... I don't know if you could come off that way and then dump these cutouts here. Or maybe we can move them out here. They'd be the same level then. Kind of dump it here and then have them cut, come in close. Come back here and hit our muffler here. Yeah. Probably so. So for right now, uh, I kind of want to run the exhaust out the side of the Metro, but obviously we'll need the body to do all that. Right. Uh, I'm thinking maybe just dump it for now. Uh, once again, we're kind of on a time crunch, so if we get to where we can look like we can run it out the side, I'll bring it back up here, but if we can just dump this muffler for now, we can cut that back off and tie into the, go out the side later maybe, so. That'll work. It'll look good. But, 
you think something like that will work? I mean, it don't look like it'll take a whole lot of pipe. But. No, I'm thinking <laughs> one stick of pipe, a couple welds, we'll be good to go. Yep. I need more than a couple welds. <laughs> All right, we'll weld it up. <laughs> sounds good, Lance. That'll work, man. Well, I'll let you, let you play around. Let's get started. All right, sounds good. With every move, you're moving me too. All of my pieces coming unclued. One little bend again, I break. And I feel it. Yeah, I feel it. Wait before you go. I just gotta let you know. Every time you're close, you're pushing me. Yeah, you're pushing me. Y'all got it wrapped up? I believe so. Man, it looks good. The sad thing is though, we can't crank it up to hear what it sounds like right now. I really want to hear it run. Yeah. Man, it really filled all that empty space up really well. So it looks good, man. Too bad it's all going to be covered back up. <laughs> well, it's unique, yep. like y'all. Yep. No, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have something that tones it down a little bit through the mufflers but if you want to play around grab some attention you can open it up and have at it so He's man i appreciate y'all knocking it out we're said we're kind of on a crunch here so uh every minute counts and y'all being able to get it in and knock it out and this good work it, Thank <laughs> it you sure very helps much. us so sure appreciate but, it well, i guess we're going to get y'all paid up and load this thing up and head back and Move to the next step. So sounds great. All right, man. I sure appreciate man, it. Man, thank you. Thanks, sir. See ya. Mm. I
So this has probably been one of the most intense deadlines we've had to meet around the shop. We've put a ton of detail into this old Metro and I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. Uh, we had Kevin do the exhaust, everything worked out really well on it. Behind the scenes we've been working really hard, we've got all our wiring ran in loom, we've got our, our valve, our airlines ran to our valve body here, we've got our shocks installed, steering linkage brake lines, fuel lines, everything seems to be done on the frame as far as we need it to go. We tried to make everything kind of plug and play just so it's a lot easier on the next guy. Uh, the wiring harness is a little bit mangled mess right now, but once we run all that up into the dash, it'll fix all that scenario. Uh, but the problem is we have only 10 days left and the Metro's still in two pieces. Uh, so we're about to mate up the frame with the body now. This will be the last time that this will be in two pieces, so the last time we lay eyes on the frame. Uh, so we're about to do that right now, get it bolted together, get the steering hooked up, pedals hooked up, hopefully get this thing on the road. Should work there. We've already got our fuel tank installed. Uh, we had a friend of ours go ahead and fab up a custom tank just because we only had a certain amount of area to work with. Uh, got all the sheet metal work done on the bottom side here, welded everything in, got seam sealer undercoating on it. So underneath here, everything should be pretty much good to go. We'll just start dropping the body down, hooking up some wiring, putting in our body bolts, and one step closer. Another thing we had to do was on the brake booster, it couldn't come out the front, it had to go out the side in towards the engine compartment. So we had to make a contraption in here so that whenever you push the brake pedal, it would force this way, yeah, go that way. So that was something else we had to fab. It's the end of the line. Well, that's got it on all of its body mounts now. Uh, we'll go in there, I'll probably lift it back up, put a little piece of rubber in there just to give it a little bit of cushion. Well, now we've got everything lined up, run some bolts through there, uh, start wiring this puppy in, get the steering hooked up, pedals hooked up, getting really close to getting this on the road. So now that we got the body and the frame mated together, we've got everything bolted down solid, everything lined up like it should. Uh, we've been working on the wiring. There's a lot of wiring going on in this Metro. We went ahead and replaced the whole wiring harness. So we're starting with everything from scratch. Uh, there's a whole lot of colors going everywhere. It's really messy right now. We went with some uh, digital air gauges. We've got new dash gauges as well. That'll be our, our oil, our temperature, our fuel gauge. All that stuff will be new. Uh, so we're trying to wire that in. This, uh, it'll also be equipped where he can air it up with his cell phone if he wants to. So just a lot of cool gadgets. We even went with a key fob, uh, push button start would be kind of cool on it. Uh, so right now what I'm about to do is just go ahead and install the new dash gauges. Uh, should pull out pretty easy, plug those new ones in and make that dash look a lot better.
These old gauges have a really cool old school look to them. I mean, they match the van perfectly. Uh, the problem is with them, they weren't functioning anymore. I mean, this old wiring on the back of here, it's, you just don't see stuff like that around anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and put some more modern gauges in here, some stuff that actually functions so you can make sure we're not running hot. Uh, batteries charging you make sure you got plenty of gas to go wherever you're going next uh, But heck these are really cool. I'm gonna hang on to them probably make something around the shop With these gauges that I ordered uh, they're pretty much the basic setup like we had in there uh, These are called a quad gauge and because it has it operates in, uh, in four things uh, We've got our fuel gauge. We've got our oil gauge our voltmeter and our water temperature. Uh, the cool thing about these gauges is that they, they all come with new sending units. So we were able to install a fuel sending unit on that fuel tank that match up with these gauges. Same with the oil and the, fuel, and the, uh, the temperature, all that stuff. Uh, so now these should just fit right in place. Uh, this is the, the gauge one. Uh, this is a speedometer one. Basically just runs off a cable like, a, like it normally would. So I'll just get them bolted up in there, wire them in so they light up with the headlights get all the uh, sending units wired in and should be able to read this thing out. When I went to measure on gauges for this Metro, I was really getting a strange measurement I couldn't find the right gauges for. I ended up going with just a five inch gauge, which looked like it was gonna be a little bit too big. Uh, the next size were like three and three eighths, which was gonna be really too small. Uh, now that I've got these old gauges pulled out, tried them out, it's like they were made for the thing. So now we'll just start bracketing them up, uh, bolt the wires in, and this will be a really plug and play easy thing. As you seen earlier in the video, we had to locate the battery back here at the back of the van, which is in the area where the gas tank normally would have been. We had to relocate the gas tank anyways. It's at the back, more convenient, uh, more capacity for the gas tank back there. Uh, so this area here, we decided that we would just take it, turn it into a spot that we could jump across from the battery here over to the battery. And that way, if he needs to jump somebody off or if he needs a boost or whatever, uh, he'll have this compartment that's easy accessible. Uh, without having to try to crawl up underneath the vehicle to do it and that. So I'm fixing to jump it on across and see what we can get going. So even though the Metro looks pretty much the same on the exterior, uh, we really wanted to jazz it up a lot with all the bells and whistles and all the gadgets. Uh, so something we thought that would be really cool is on this is instead of going with just an old original ignition with a key, we thought it'd be pretty cool to go with where a key fob style. So with this, uh, this is the key to the Metro. So if you don't have this key in your pocket, you're not gonna crank this Metro up. It's just a push button start, pretty much like you see on all the new cars nowadays. Uh, so we're, we're wiring it up. The, the instructions on it are a little bit all over the place. I think we got it pretty close just to test it out. Another cool thing is it has remote start on here. Uh, later on, if he wanted to add uh, keyless entry with the locks, he can do that as well. So we're just going to go ahead and try it out. I want to make sure we're on the right path with this. Just see if it'll turn over the motor and uh, we'll go on from there. I think I've pretty much got everything wired up on that ignition where we can try it out. Uh, there's all kinds of wires that come off that module. So I, I wired in the basic stuff. I think we can just, uh, this wire right here, I'm just going to have you hook it into the hot. Uh, for now, temporarily wired in there and see if it'll turn over or something. I just want to make sure we're in the right direction right. with it. Don't so. get a cart before a horse. Yeah, it's kind of complicated. Can you reach the battery there? Yeah. Just kind of tap it to make sure. <laughs> All right. Slotting up in here, so I think we're. Think I should go ahead and try it? Yeah, I'd give it a try. You clear? I'm clear. Make sure I'm in park. Here we go. <laughs> Works. Yep. So I don't have any of the cool or the fuel pump or anything uh, ran right now, So, but we at least know the starter's working. So. Right. Headed in the right direction, that's for sure. It's a ton more wires to go. <laughs> I like it. 
Well, we're four days away from our deadline and we've yet to crank this metro up and hear it run. Uh, we've got the body and the frame mounted back together, which was a huge accomplishment, uh, but there's just been a whole lot of wiring. We went with a brand new wiring harness, so we've been running all that, uh, running all the engine uh, harness uh, wires, all the air ride harness wires. Uh, there's just a lot of wiring going on on this truck. So we just about got all that wrapped up, still lacked just a little bit on the steering column, a little bit on the, on the gas pedal. Uh, check the fluids, make sure everything's good on that, and getting really close to firing this thing up for the first time. We're finishing up one of the last pieces on this truck of bleeding the brakes. Uh, we had to make the brake contraption up front here for the brake booster to clear right. Uh, so hopefully we'll get these bled out. Hopefully that contraption works for us and hopefully it'll do a whole lot of stopping. Ready? Yeah. Starting to get a little bit of a pedal. That's good. Feels pretty good now. I think everything works. Oh. Feel pretty good now. That's good. Well, I think the last thing to do is just check the fluids, get some fuel in it, and see if it'll turn over, spit or sputter, or do something. So it's getting really, really close. All right, I'll get we some got gas. any gas? Yeah. yeah. I'll get it. I've already got that. Have you already got it? Yep. Cool. It's, it's full. Should be able to just check the oil again and the transmission fluid. I think that's pretty much got it. Yep. You got a good hot battery. You got all that connected up and everything. Everything's connected, ready to go. Uh, we should be pretty close to doing the first trial test of her. I got all the gauges wired in. Everything should be good. Fans are hooked up. Air rod should be working. All we gotta do is push the button. <laughs> and try it. Try it. It's the only way to find out if it works. <laughs> Good. That was really good. We'll try the cutouts. Do I? Try the cutouts. Oh yeah. Just right. Yeah. No leaks. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I did not expect it to run that quick that easy. It sounds good too. Sounds really good. We went with those 50 series Flowmasters, so I didn't want it to be too loud where you could notice a difference with the cutout, so cutouts sound nice and beefy and yep. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Just need to try to put it in gear now. Yeah. I made an arrangement to go ahead and get alignment done on it today, so 
need to go ahead and button up a few last last minute things and get it on the trailer and get it up there and get alignment and this bad boy will be on the road. That's right. We'll be cruising. Yep. That'll work. On the upholstery work inside this old metro, it didn't really amount to a whole lot, and literally the seat was not much left there at all. Uh, we teamed up with Sammy Ham with Deport Classic Auto Interior on this, and uh, he just blew this seat out of the water. We wanted a look that would match the grill of the metro, and uh, he pulled it off. He nailed it on that. So we were able to incorporate our turning rust badges on there. Just something to give it a really cool kind of rustic look. I'm extremely happy with the way they turned out. Uh, the owner wanted to go ahead and have a two seat set up. So we've got another seat that matches this as well. That'll go on the passenger side. So we got the new halo lights in and out. We're fixing to install them. Uh, pretty easy, just plug and play. So we'll get these halos plugged in and get it fastened in and we'll be done. Well, yesterday we had a few kinks arise and we didn't make our appointment to the alignment shop. We still got a few kinks we're working out. We're at three days away from our deadline. We're gonna go ahead and load up the Metro now, get it taken up there to them, have them look at it. Hopefully everything works out all right. Howdy. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. I'm Lance. Bart Hadley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lance. Uh, we had an appointment to bring this old girl up here to get alignment done on it today. Yeah, I, so. I saw it on the schedule this morning. We're ready. ready Probably don't get stuff looking go. like that too often, Not do you? Not too often. <laughs> yes, sir. Actually, I can say this is the first. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, it's all on air ride, so I can air it up and everything, and I just need to get the alignment. Uh, I know what pressure I'm wanting to run it at, so 
Well, we've looked at our equipment, and, and it is compatible, so okay. we ought to be good to go. Cool. We'll load it, and we'll put it on the scene and find out. That'll work. Any certain place you want it, or? Just around here on the north side of the building. Okay. Our alignment bay. That'll work. We'll unload it and pull right up on the lift. Okay, I'll get it unloaded then. All right. All right thank you, thanks. sir. Well, we made our first test run in it. She seems to be running okay, steering okay. I can tell the alignment's definitely off on this. The wheels are fighting each other. Uh, so that's what they're gonna do now, hook it up to the machine, get everything in a line. She'll go down the road a whole lot smoother. y'all fixed up lamps yes sir they sure did appreciate i can already you. feel the difference in the steering wheel <laughs> appreciate you guys choosing us yes sir I appreciate, I appreciate y'all jumping on it and knocking it out so we good deal these deadlines ain't no fun but at least when it's done it's done so <laughs> we'll get it back i got a few more things i need to mark off the list but it's that's definitely got me one step closer so glad to help i sure appreciate it and we'll get out of your hair hate to see it leave if you guys need <laughs> anything just holler yes sir thanks, thanks Lance. Sir. all right see ya Now that we got the truck back from the alignment shop, uh, she's steering a whole lot better. We had to address the front fenders just a little bit to allow the wheels to tuck in there the way they need to be. Uh, but we've just been pressing on, pressing on. This has been a super busy, hectic week for us. Uh, one last piece of the puzzle is that 56 Cadillac bumper we wanted to put on here. Uh, Y'all, You guys might remember a while on back we bought the 56 Cadillac. Thought it would be really cool to try to fab something up to put on the front of this Metro. Didn't know what we were going to really be getting into, how hard it would be, what we were going to use. We just thought it'd be a cool idea and we went in it head first. Uh, so now we've been fabbing on it. I think we've got something we like. We're about to bolt it up and see how well it dresses this thing up.
Thank you, ma'am. See you next week. This old girl's been a long time coming and I couldn't be happier with the way she turned out. We put a ton of hours into it and we were actually able to meet our deadline to send this girl off to Ireland. When we sold the Metro van, he loved the exterior on it, he loved the patina, the old school logos, so we just were able to keep that like it was. Now underneath, everything is basically brand new. We went with full air ride on it, four link on the back, an 82 C10 front cross member on the front. Everything lays out like we wanted it to. It rides good, it feels good. On the motor, we decided to go with just a 350 carbureted motor. Uh, sounds really good, has a lot of power, gets the work done. A 700 R4 transmission shifts this old girl down the road just the way it needs to. When we sold him this Metro, he really wanted something unique. Not that the Metro wasn't that already. So we decided to spruce things up a little bit with a 56 Cadillac bumper. We were able to fab some stuff together just with what we had around the shop, come up with a really cool look that's really going to one off this Metro from the rest of them. On the interior of the Metro, we pretty much lost everything when we went with the air ride. So we had to fab up new wheel wells, a new raised floor. We thought it'd be pretty cool to make the interior match the exterior, something that looked like it had never been messed with. So we were able to put down the sheet metal. We went with a wood slat floor, something to really give it an old school look. We were able to recreate the patina on it. Everything matched up perfect and looks like nothing was ever touched. We had our seat recovered by Deport Auto Upholstery and he nailed it with the look that we were looking for to match this front grill. On the wheels, we went with a custom US mag wheel with a 22 by 11 on the rear and a 20 by eight and a half on the front. Overall, even though this Metro brought on a lot of late nights, a little bit of stress and a lot of busted knuckles, I couldn't be happier with the way she turned out and really gonna be sad to say goodbye to her. Thank you.